Hey, Dr. Chung. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Nice. Dr. Stephen Chung runs this environmental lab. For 25 years, he studied the impact of extreme heat on firefighters, professional athletes, and the average Joe, or in this case, an average Jeff. What we're going to do is uh, record your core temperature using this pill. I begin by swallowing a thermometer pill. Then they wire me up. Probes to monitor skin temperature, heart rate, oxygen, and brain blood flow. Next comes a cognition test to measure my memory skills. Then they shut the door to this airtight chamber and crank the heat to 35 degrees Celsius with about 30% humidity. After 45 minutes, my heart rate and temperature have barely changed. All right, after an hour inside, feeling a little warm, but not too bad. I had a sweat towel, but uh, didn't even need it. But I would need that towel before long. A quick cold shower, then back for round two. And this time they add a dangerous ingredient, humidity. All right. Oh. The chamber is again set to 35 degrees, but with humidity at around 80%. It's gonna be just a sweat fest, <laughs> basically. In dry heat, sweat evaporates into the air, which cools the body down, but not in humid heat. The sweat that you're producing just cannot evaporate into the environment because the air is already so filled with water vapor. After about 45 minutes, I'm feeling nauseous and lightheaded. I'm sorry you have to see this. <laughs> my skin temperature is up 7 degrees, while my heart rate has jumped by more than 10 beats per minute, even though I'm barely moving. Your blood is pumping a lot of blood out to the skin to get rid of the heat, and so the heart has to work a lot harder. There's also less blood pumping to my brain. On the memory test, I make twice as many mistakes. You can't think as straight, so that's also when accidents can happen. So a key take-home message is to keep a close eye not only on the temperature, but also on the humidity when determining whether your body can take the heat. Jeff Semple, Global News, in St. Catharines, Ontario.